Welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg. I'm your host. And if you're down with the commander's news and free agency and all of that stuff, you're going to want to subscribe here and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any other video releases. And I'm telling you, <laughs> it, it has been so fascinating watching Adam Peters do his thing. Now we have what I consider a big splash here in free agency. The Washington Commanders have signed former Seahawks pro bowler Bobby Wagner to a one-year deal. <laughs> Bobby Wagner, now, you know, he's getting up there in age, but he still has a lot of tread left on those wheels and he was a pro bowler this past year. So he is still, he is still churning out great performances and he is reuniting with Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn was with Bobby Wagner in Seattle about a decade ago. And here we are, we have Bobby Wagner coming to the Washington commanders on a one-year deal, it's worth um, a max value of $8.5 million and includes up to $6 million in guarantees. <clears throat> um, a very doable uh, contract there. And you bring in a guy like Bobby Wagner because you want someone who's going to come in to set the tone. You want someone who's going to come in to be a leader of men, who's going to be able to uh, command that locker room. And Bobby Wagner is one of those guys. Now <clears throat> you've got Jamie Davis and, and Luvu, who both are going to be able to, I think, be free to rush the quarterback. You know, Dan Quinn had alluded to something about possibly making Jamie Davis into a more of a hybrid type of player. And it looks like now with the signing of Bobby Wagner, he's going to be able to do that. Um, Suddenly, you go from a, a linebacker position of Cody Barton and David Mayo to Bobby Wagner and uh, uh, Luvu. And here we are. These guys are going to eat. I mean, they're just going to eat. I am just so excited to see what is going to happen on the field. Now, I have no intentions of thinking that that this team is necessarily going to turn everything around one year. But believe you and me, this defense is vastly improved with all of the free agent signings that have occurred here for Washington. I mean, you know, take a look at Bobby Wagner, Frankie Luvu, um, Dorrance Armstrong, Dante Fowler Jr., um, uh, Colleen Farrell, uh, Jeremy Chin. I mean, we have signed a lot of quality guys who's going to give quality time for the Washington Commanders. Then you look on the offensive side. We've gotten help up front with Nick uh, Allegretti. <laughs> I tell you, I am bad with last names. Um, also, uh, Zach Ertz, um, Tyler Bladis. <laughs> uh, I tell you, Brandon did such a better job um, with pronouncing these last names than me, and I apologize. But I'm horrendous when it comes to pronouncing names. Um, but we've got help up front. I, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for the announcement of Tyron Smith because we need that left tackle there. I, I feel like despite uh, Wiley being on the right side there, if we can lock down that left tackle position with somebody who could literally be at a Pro Bowl level, level um, then I think I would be very satisfied with what we have done free agency. Um, of course, you know, uh, signing guys like uh, Marcus Mariota, I'm still that's still a head scratcher with me, but uh, we'll we'll see. 
we'll see on that one. And and then, uh, you know, a long snapper, we definitely needed a good long snapper. Um, was very happy to see that. Uh, and, of course, another kicker. Honestly, I I was okay with our kicker. Um, but uh, McManus is a, a slight upgrade from uh, Joey Sly. So uh, it remains to be seen. But, you know, we have finally started re-signing a couple of our own guys. Uh, Jeremy Reeves, our Pro Bowl special teams ace, has re-signed with the Washington Commanders, as well as Jamison Crowder. I think bringing Jamison Crowder back is an excellent is an excellent thing for for Washington. Um, I didn't want to see him go uh, the first time he left Washington a few years ago. So um, you know he came in and he played really well for the Commanders last year. And so I'm glad to see uh, Jameson Crowder back. I'm glad to see uh, Jeremy Reeves back. Now, I don't expect anybody else outside of that, you know, as far as what I consider, quote unquote, um, big name signings from our own team or re signings. But um, overall, I'm just in awe by how much that this roster is going to be changed this year. I mean, it is not going to resemble the roster we had in 2023. Um, And plus, we we have the draft coming up as well. And this really opens up the opportunity to be able to draft the best player available. You know, Um, now one thing that when Adam Peters says he wants to build through the draft, supplement with free agency. So here's the thing when it comes to building through the draft. The best way to build through draft is to to draft the best player available and not necessarily draft for need. And so I think that's kind of a clarity moment that, um, or clarity point that we have to make sure that people understand is the fact that you want to be able to you want to be able to build through the draft, but you want to be able to also do it in a way that you have the best players available when you draft. And it looks like now Adam Peters can do this. You know, he, he's signed several guys to just one year deals. And he's, you know, and he's, he's got a couple of guys on two year deals, three year deals, but, um, Basically, he's given himself an opportunity to go through a couple of drafts to get the best player available to really build up this roster. It's amazing. I have not seen this type of roster building in years. It's been so long since I have actually seen this type of roster get built. Now, that's not saying that we're going to go and win, you know, double digit games this year. I'd be very, very surprised if we're able to do that. Easily, this roster, even though that I still don't know who the quarterback's going to be, still don't know um, all of the wide receivers we're, we're going to have, um, but I would say at the least, you're probably going to see this team doubling the win totals from a year ago, which won't be that difficult, I don't think. You know, you should be able to double four wins. And I think having this defense, we, honestly, um, outside of, of signing a corner, and they still have time, um, they have completely revamped the defense. <clears throat> They're helping the offense. Man, I'm telling you what, this is very exciting. If you're a Washington Commanders fan, You have to be extremely excited by what Adam Peters is doing. Folks, we will be back if any other breaking news comes out as far as uh, the signings of of players. But, man, I tell you what, this is exciting stuff. Folks, if you enjoyed this, please give it a like, give it a share, and uh, let me know your comments as far as Bobby Wagner. Yes, he's up there in age, but guess what? So was London Fletcher when we signed him uh, several years back. And he pretty much had a Hall of Fame career. 
when he was done with the Redskins. So um, this is basically this is Bobby Wagner. He's a he's our London Fletcher. That's what that's who we were looking for. Maybe Frankie Louvu Le- can be kind of a London Fletcher as well. But you know Bobby Wagner, man. He's going to be a future Hall of Famer for sure. Folks, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Hell to the Washington Commanders. Hell to the Washington Redskins. I will see you in the next one.